Hey guys, it's Hot Mess Mama coming to you live. It is Monday, uh, March 6th. No, I'm sorry, March 5th. It's about three o'clock Eastern time. Um, and I wanted to do a quick little Facebook Live. I used to do them every Monday at three o'clock and I kind of strayed away from that. But I want to get back into the groove of that um, and doing some more regular broadcasts. So please um, check in. Hey, Heather, how you doing? Good to, good, good to see that you're alive. Heather uh, did some amazing work this weekend being like the best mom and mom friend ever. She helped babysit or watch kids for a, a overnight slumber party in a hotel with 12 five and six year old girls like that's like superhuman to me and i i i i would kill for I, i'm so glad you're my friend and i will hope that someday you could help me out in that capacity and i will certainly scratch your back if you scratch mine so heather great to see that you are watching um i'm going to be doing a little bit of a broadcast today about babysitting which is kind of on topic for what you were doing this weekend um has it changed much since you were growing up like the whole babysitting thing because I'm thinking to myself, like, it is, uh, I remember when I was, and I don't want to date myself, and I don't want to be like, oh, when I was a kid, la, la, la. But when I was a kid, when we babysat, like, if our neighbors wanted us to babysit, you, d you just babysat for the neighbors. And, you know, a lot of times you didn't get paid for it. Or if your mom and dad wanted to go out with another mom and dad, um, which was their friends or whatever, you would babysit for that mom and dad's kids, and you would get paid for it, right? You wouldn't expect that if you were to go out with a friend, like, you know, that your parents were to go out with a friend that you, that, why would, why would you pay that sitter to watch those kids, right? Right. So, am I making sense? Anyway, so, yeah. So, and we got paid maybe, if we got paid, we got maybe like five bucks an hour, right? And we had to go through training. I, I remember we had to go through like CPR training or we had to at least get some sort of training at some sort of school or community college or park district or something you know we needed to know how to change diapers we had to know how to warm bottles we had to know how to soothe kids you know and and be age appropriate so like we were trained and we were paid nothing and yet we were you know I, I would like to think that we were decent babysitters and and we probably didn't I, I mean I didn't start babysitting until at least I was like 10 um, because I think at that time people thought, well, you know, if you're any younger than 10, then, you know, I don't know how responsible you would be. So, um, but yeah, that's, that was how my experience was. Heather, how was your babysitting experience when you were a kid, when you were babysitting, when you were a kid, like, how was it for you? Was it the same? Um, or maybe you had a different experience. Maybe that's just my experience. I don't think so though, because this weekend I was talking with some mothers, um, about their experiences with babysitters and, um, you know, their, what it was like when they babysat and what it's like today with the babysitters that they hire. And so the general consensus is that it's crazy how much we pay our babysitters these days. <laughs> And it's crazy that we pay them so much money for doing so little and being so underqualified. Um, and so, it, but you know, it is, it's the nature of the beast. Like if we want to have social lives, if we want to go out, you know, with our husbands, if we want to go get our hair cut, if we have to go to a dentist appointment or something and we need a sitter, you got to just bite the bullet and, and pay the money. And so, you know, I, on average, I'm talking about the moms that I was talking with, if you've got maybe one or two kids in the household um, you're paying on average anywhere from 10 to $15 an hour for a babysitter to watch your kids. Um, and that babysitter could be 10 years old and have absolutely no training. That babysitter could be a college student and still have no training. Um, and so it's, it's hard because that's a lot of money. So like, if you're talking about like, Hey, I got to go out and get my haircut. Okay. Your haircut or your color, what takes that takes like two hours or whatever. And it costs, you know, how a hundred bucks to get your haircut and colored. And then you got to pay another 30 bucks on top of that for someone to watch your kids or even heaven forbid a date night, you know, where you go out and have dinner and drinks or a movie or whatever, and then pay a sitter on top of that, that turns out to be like a hundred dollars by the end of the night. And that's not even for like an extravagant dinner or a late night or a long night dinner. So, um, and so, and the scary part is, is that, you know, you, you entrust your children with these babysitters and, and you leave them in their hands and like, you know, we're so grateful to have some help and whatever. And sometimes you're just kind of like, just as long as my kids are alive at the end of the day, like, okay, I'm not going to fault this babysitter. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? I'm just talking about babysitters and how much we pay them these days and how little we got paid when we were babysitting ourselves. Um, so like, for instance, you know, I've, I've, I've gone through a lot of babysitters because we're in a college town 
And so the turnover is really high because these college students, once you find a really good one to watch your kids, then they graduate or their school schedules change and they can't help you anymore. Um, so it's really hard to hang on to a really good babysitter. Um, and so I, when I get one, I'm like, I cherish them and I treat them like gold, right? And then things happen, right? Things happen like you come home and you see that a lot of your liquor is missing uh, or you run a background check and you find out, hmm, they have a criminal record. Um, or then you, you know, you come home and, you know, this babysitter's told you that they've been, you know, they're an expert watching little kids and that they have all the six brothers and sisters and blah, blah, blah. And then you come home and you see that your daughter's diaper is put on backwards, you know, um, or your house is completely trashed and destroyed, right? I'm kind of of the mentality that like when I hire a babysitter, especially for 10 to $15 an hour, especially at night when literally all you have to do is feed my kid a piece of pizza and put them to bed because I've already bathed them. I've already taken care of most of it. Usually I even try to feed my own kids to then all you really need to do is let them watch one cartoon for 30 minutes and then you put them to bed. So why is it that when I come home, my house is completely trashed? Like really? Like I would expect that when I come home, from wherever I am and I'm paying someone that much money that my house wouldn't be a complete disaster when I got home, that I wouldn't have dishes all over and that toys wouldn't be a strewn everywhere and that there wouldn't be markers and crayons and writing on my walls and, you know, food rotting in places. And it's, it's disturbing to me that we pay babysitters so much money to do so little. It's almost like they're entitled. And then, and then you ask your kids later in the morning or whatever, so how was it last night? And like, you find out the babysitter did nothing but sit and play on her phone. But I guess beggars can't be choosers, right? Like we, my kids were alive, you know, and they weren't hurt or harmed in any way, but still it just kind of makes you feel like you're taken advantage of. So when you find those babysitters that are good babysitters, like an I, in my history, I'm really fortunate to have had one or two really good babysitters that I like, I'm saddened that they are, you know, have graduated or they've moved on. And because my kids adored them, adored adored them. They played with them. They made slime with them. They were always active with my kids. They fed them well. They bathed them well. They took great care of them. I trusted them driving them around town. Um, you know, it just, I, I cherish them because they are just invaluable to a mom because we're leaving our kids in your care. They're the most valuable, precious things in our lives. And to entrust our children in your care is a big deal. So you know what? Treat it like it. Treat it like it's a big deal, like it's your most important job in the world because you are in charge of the safety and well-being of someone's children. That's a big deal. And you know what? Treat it as such. And when we find the ones that, are, that have that kind of thinking, we hold on to you and we cherish you and we love you and we, inc we incorporate you as part of our family and we reward you and we, we can't do without you. So please be one of those babysitters because we're looking for you and we're yearning for you and we need you and we love you and we don't even know it yet. So that's my public service announcement for the day. I think it's just a little bit of frustration that I've had some bad experiences with some babysitters where I'm paying them so much to do so little. And I think back on my youth and how much we did for so little. Like another instance. If I'm going to go out to lunch with my girlfriends and I need to have a sitter for my baby and one of their daughters says, yeah, I'll watch your kid to then have to pay my friend's daughter to babysit my kid while I go to lunch with your mom, that feels really icky. It just feels icky. Like, really? I know. Weird. Am I, am I being crazy? Like Katie, am I feeling, is that crazy? Or Heather, is that crazy to feel that way? Like, I feel like I am. I'm paying someone so that I can be with, like I'm paying your daughter so I can be at lunch with you. Does that feel weird? It feels weird to me. But anyway, again, so you got to do what you got to do. Moms got to, ha moms have lives and they've got to get out and they've got to get, I'm not bringing my kid to another OBGYN appointment. There's just some things your kids don't need to see. So yeah, we got to pay babysitters, but we've got to just pray on it and hope to God that we are getting good ones. I don't have a nanny cam, um, but I know moms that subscribe to that. I am now gotten into the practice of doing background checks because I've been bitten in the ass. Ooh, pardon my French. Um, but again, like I said, you know, we work on recommendations. Um, and work on experiences with you. And if, if you're good to us, oh, we will be so good to you. Because like I said, you are caring for the most important thing in our lives and in our worlds. 
So that's something to think on. Kids that are getting ready to get into the babysitting world. We also think very highly if you go through any kind of training or if you have any CPR first aid training or if you go through even like a baby class. I'm still floored that I'm paying these babysitters that are college age to put my kids' diapers on backwards. You know, it's not rocket science. And I can't believe I'm paying them so much for that. So like again, okay, and think about all those things and moms treat those babysitters well and hold on to them as long as you can. Have a great Monday, guys. I'm hoping to go on live again on Wednesday. So uh, check back with us. Take care.